Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my worlds, the world away, we have now got issue 42 of Eagle Moss's Build of DeLorean. Okay, this looks like a fiddly issue, I have to say. Uh, look, I've laid all the pieces out again, just like last time. As a matter of fact, look, my uh, wife found this quite endearing that I've got the uh, relevant OCD to match the picture to it's laid out. So <laughs> let's see what we've got to do. Uh, this is all the bits we've got. Once again, all the screws that we need for this are actually in this unit. So we don't have to worry about raiding the uh, pillbox full of screws. Uh, looks like we've got about four pages worth of stuff. And it's all to do with adding things to this central console here. Uh, the time circuits, the dial and stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. And in the next one, we're still going to be continuing that. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking on this. Um, I think the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting to lay out the top of the time circuit. So I'm going to push all of this to one side. Just bear in mind that you have got two, uh, some really fiddly things here. You've got some knobs for the radio, this red wire thing and the compass. So uh, I know a lot of people on the groups have said they're missing some stuff. Um, so check your stuff first. I think that's my advice for that. Uh, so you don't have a problem when you're halfway through the build and uh, the thing's not working. Or you can't continue because you haven't got the stuff. That's never good. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, step one. Uh, we're going to be bending 47J, which is this uh, nice red bit of wire. Uh, and insert it into two ends through the holes of 42H. So we've got 42H, which is uh, not that bit, which is, uh, where are we? This little grilled bit here. Uh, and we're going to be cutting through this end here where the uh, the circle is. Uh, we've got two holes in the middle. So we're going to be putting one end in through there. Going to be like threading a needle. I can see this is going to be a problem. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, here's the first problem. Can't get the blinking thing in. I think my hole is not big enough. But look, I've got one end in. That's good. Now I've got to sort of loop it round on this side to get the other end in. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put... <laughs> this is going to be so hard. Right, try again. I've got my glasses on today as well, so I can actually see fine. Just uh, got to get the stupid thing in. Yeah. No, I thought I'd done it. Let's try again. If I don't get it this time, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, cut away... And we'll come back and it'll all be done. Ah, there we go. It's gone through. <laughs> I don't like cutting away because it deceives you guys at how easy things might be when they're not. Uh, basically, you're just going to leave the wires coming out the top there. They're going to be for something else and there is an equal distance between them. So they should be the same length either side when they come out. Can you see that on the side camera there? There we go. All good. Okay, so that was step one and two. Step three, we're going to be attaching this to the top of the radio. This is what the radio part looks like. Uh, pretty cool. Not got any knobs in at the moment or anything like that yet. Again, on the side camera, it probably looks better with that sort of thing. So this is going to be fitting on top of it. It can only go in one way because you see you've got a, a nipple there. Um, uh, like two holes, one for this nipple to go in and one where the screw is going to go in. So this will be going in just like, uh, get in there, just like that. And this is all going to be secured in with an AP screw. And as I said, they, they bring the screws with this uh, edition. So we haven't got to worry about that. So I'm going to put the screws there. And we'll get the first screw in. So let's load my screwdriver up and put that one in. Now, for you guys watching this, I'm thinking see, this is due to be posted up Monday morning, which is Monday the uh, 15th today, so tomorrow the 16th. Uh, it's actually Sunday morning for me at the moment. I've just woke up. So this is the first thing I'm doing when I wake up. That's step four done. Uh, step five, we are going to be putting in these little um, radio uh, buttons sort of thing, the knobs. Now, the knobs just fit into the holes in the front here. Um, just those the holes there. Now, when the, you put them in, I'm guessing that they uh, they just slip in. They, they're not glued in or anything like that. Now, obviously, if you leave them unglued, you can turn the dials. If you don't, they're not going to fall out. So I'm not going to glue these. I am just going to keep them the way they are. Um, but yeah, if you want to glue them, you can. They won't fall out, but you won't be able to turn them. So that is uh, step five done. Step six, we've got this lovely, uh, it looks metal. It's actually plastic. We've got a, a plastic mount that the radio is going to be fitting on top of. As you see, we've got two holes here that's going to match the two holes on this section here. It's going to sit just like that. And this is all going to be secured in step seven 
with two AP screws again into these two holes. Can you see those right down the bottom there? Not the two top ones here, the two bottom ones. This is gonna be fiddly. So this is where your, magne um, your magnetic screwdriver comes in invaluable. So let's see if we can do this first time. I'm probably gonna show you on the side camera for this. There we go, that's the first one in. Now with these, I, I always just put the screw in and start it. I don't ever tighten them up until all the screws are in. Because you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> if you do that. Okay, so right, we're gonna get that tidied up. Tidied up? Tightened up. There you go, that's a uh, Sunday morning mistake for you. Ah. It does go in really well though, I have to say. So that's step seven done. Now step eight, we're gonna be putting the compass on. Now the compass is uh, got a little sort of um, nipple. I keep calling these things nipple, but it's basically, uh, uh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You've got a shape that this is gonna be fitting into there. Uh, top camera, probably best I reckon for that. Uh, and this has got the same on this side. So this will just basically sit on there. Now you no need to glue this one because you're gonna be screwing it in. Um, but it, you're going to be screwing it in, I say, but you need to make sure it's in the right way first. You know it's in the right way because obviously the compass is going to be facing you this way. So uh, let's just see what screw we're going to need. We're going to need an AP screw, so I'll get that preloaded up because I can see this bit being very fiddly. So that's the screw loaded up. Right, so I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to hold, try and hold it in with my finger. There we go just so I can get the screw in. Oops, and it's fallen out again. Who said this was gonna be easy, eh? Okay, once you've started to screw in, then it's gonna be okay to actually put it in the way it goes. And then tighten it up. Oh, see it's turning again, so <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Almost there. I'm not happy with the... Perfect. There we go. And that's perfectly straight now. See that on that camera? And once again, I'll show you on the side camera there. Nice and straight. So basically, there is a little sort of like um, detail just at the bottom there. That's got to be facing this way. That's how you know you got it in the right direction. So that was step eight done. Step nine, we've uh, got to screw it in, which we've already done. <laughs> Okay, step 10, we're going to be putting the time circuits against the uh, LEDs here to make it light up. Look at the detail on that. Can you see that on the side camera there? Look, when you uh, go in really close, you can actually make out every single individual letter, which is really hard to do with uh, to print that out. Uh, this can only go in one way because you've got well, sort of like a slot that's going to go in and that's going to just slip in to the electric circuit just like that. Uh, that's basically step 10 done. Now, step 11, we're going to be attaching this whole thing without it falling apart, to the metal rig that we made earlier. It can only go in one way, because you've got a, uh, a hole here, I'm looking down the middle camera there, in the center. This is what's gonna screw into it with an AP screw. So once I've got that in, I'm just trying to get it so that it lines up perfectly. There we go, I think I've got it lined up. It looks lined up. There is a click, if you heard that click because I'm sure we need to make sure that's perfectly lined up, otherwise it's not going nowhere. It's gonna be secured with an AP screw. So once again, I'll load a screw up, see if we can get this in first time. And that is absolutely brilliant, that's gone in first time. Okay, so that holds the LED, the electrics in, behind uh, this unit here, and that's what that's looking like at the moment. Really good. I like that. <laughs> okay, next thing, we're just gonna be putting this to one side at the moment, because step 13, we're gonna be doing the keypad. So we're gonna be attaching the keypad to this section here. So this is, uh, keypad's 42C and the base is 42B, and it's secured in with an AP screw. So you've got two ways around. You've got this one with the indented uh, screw sort of thing, and this one with the inverted. We're gonna be putting it in this way, where everything's coming upwards. Uh, the actual uh, unit here actually goes underneath it, but we're gonna be securing it through the top. So put that in underneath. Again, you've got two holes that match, that corresponds with the holes on the keypad there. Just like that. And again, that's gonna be secured in with our favorite friend, the AP screw. I must have about a hundred of these now. The amount of times they're sending me uh, AP screws. 
Uh, okay, and that's going to be secured in with the one at the top there. Get in there. That's him. So, screwing that one in. Perfect. So that's the keypad now attached to the base. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is attaching... Uh, fit the keypad assembly to the underside of this unit that we've just built here. Now, obviously, we've got a wire coming out at the moment. My, oh, that's not good. Let me just have a look at that. The wire's coming out the side. That is right. Yeah, the wire's meant to be coming out the side of that, isn't it? I'm just checking. No, it's not. <laughs> How have I managed to get that in the side? I think that wire is meant to be coming out the top because the last thing I want to do is break that wire. I think it comes out the bottom actually. Yeah, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off again and I'm gonna rewrap that wire because obviously we don't want that wire showing. That is gonna be bad. I just noticed that and I'm surprised that actually went in as easy as it did. So let's get that wire out because I don't want that wire coming out the side. And I don't know if there's a way to stop that happening. I'm just going to look back at the pictures for that because their wire, yeah, they've got coming out the bottom. My wire is going to be hard to do that because the electric contact is actually pointing out to the side already. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just show you this contact. I'm going to have to fold it over for the minute and then put it back in. So there we go. Again, I make mistakes so you don't have to. Check that when you put that piece in because uh, if you don't, again, you're going to have a bad time and you may even break the wire. So just put that bit back in. So there we go. We've got the wire coming out the bottom now rather than the side, which is right. And thank God the wire didn't break then. Um, yep. Nice to make mistakes while you're doing builds. That's what we're made for. Okay. So this can only go in one way, the keypad. So what we're going to do is put the keypad in. Um, now... You've got a lip in here where the wire is going to be coming out the bottom of it. So you're not going to have a problem with it. Um, sorry, it's the other way. Uh, you're not going to have a problem with it uh, catching, if you like, like we just had, as you can see. So when we put that in, it goes in this way. It can only go in one way. And again, it's going to be secured down with uh, BP screws this time. Uh, I'm just making sure that the wires, when the wires out the way, it will click in perfectly there. And that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have a keypad. Uh, underneath this with the one wire coming out the bottom of it so what i'll do is i'll just leave that there for a second while i open the bp screws up um i'm glad i checked that now because that's uh, going to cause a problem um someone did mention before i think it was horlix on one of my uh, comments about checking some of these connections and wires as we're doing them and the best example of that would be the uh the break that we put in because if that doesn't work that wire uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to strip it down when the thing's completed. Uh, so last night I got a multimeter to it and double check that wire. It works perfectly. So when I press the brake pedal, uh, it does complete a circuit. So this is the second BP screw going in. Oh, God, it's tight. I'm just going to... It's tight, but not tight like I want it. <laughs> Get the top one in again. There we go, that's going nowhere. So that's the completed system. So we've got these two wires coming out the top there, and we've got this lovely long wire coming out the bottom there for the time circuits. Okay, um, what we got here? This is, look, you see what I mean about the, uh, I told you about the, the knob for the radio? It's fallen out, let's put that back in. There we go, the radio knob's back in. So it may be worth, if you're not going to be playing around with it and turning it and stuff like that, it may be worth putting that back in. But uh, I've got the knob back in on that radio there. Oops, it's come out again. I will put that back in afterwards. Okay, right, we're going to be now attaching this to the console. I'll bring the console over. That's where we're up to at the moment. And this is going to be fitting, right, the electric cable, which is step uh, 15, is going to be going down here because we want it coming out the bottom just like that get that all the way in there all the way in there there we go and it's going to be mounting on just these two holes here which is a uh, step 16 so we put them in like that and that's going to be secured with bp screws from underneath here so well, again we get the bp screws which are a lot thicker than the ap so that's how you can identify them and get that one in so first one's in Again, I'm not putting it in too tightly. And the second one's in. 
to get that one in. Try to show you on one of these cameras as I'm screwing it in. Very hard. So that's the left one. Just do the right one. So there you go. That's what it's looking like. All good. All completed. That's issue 42 completed. Issue 43 will probably be up tomorrow morning, probably about 8 o'clock. Hope you enjoyed that video. Take care.